Dear Mr. J. Powell, I don't want any more of this Hit me, baby, one more time crap. I want Hit me with your best shot. That is, give it to us already. Today's the day, folks. Today is FOMC day. Markets still have consensus pricing in from Fed economists and watchers of a 50 basis point hike, which is ridiculous because over 80% of the market is actually pricing in a 75 basis point hike. JP Morgan gave us actually very interesting scenarios today in terms of what could happen based on the rate hikes. And so we're going to go through those right now. First, they suggest that if we get a 50 basis point hike, the stock market might actually fall. This was actually somewhat the opposite of what in the past we've expected because we've always wanted smaller is better just give it to us soft but we've been so reamed in this market that we're just sick and tired of small we want the big one give it to us so we can finally feel something again right so that's actually very interesting that now potentially a 50 bp hike could be negative because we finally want the fed to grow some balls and do it the right way hike appropriately Give us at least 75. Some folks calling for 100. One f person, at least interviewed by uh, Bloomberg, suggested that the Fed should just literally go straight to 3%. Some suggest that that would be kind of like getting Paul Volcker, but let's be real. Getting Paul Volcker is setting interest rates at the Fed higher than the rate of inflation. So getting Paul Volcker would be like, all right, good luck, everybody. Whoop, we're going to 10%. <laughs> that would probably throw us into a depression. But anyway, this, this whole like 25, 50 BP nonsense is bad. And so it's no surprise that JPM says if we get a 50, the market would probably go down because we would think that inflation will keep going. This problem will keep getting worse, not better. Next, JP Morgan believes that if we get a 75 BP hike, the market will actually rally. In fact, take a look at this Bloomberg chart here that suggests that after FOMC meetings, markets tend to rally which is actually what happened in march we had a substantial two to three week of a rally which is pretty cool let's see if the fed wakes up and does some good work today and we could actually get a rally yeah because we want a rally that way we could prepare more to build wealth with real estate and learn more and spend more time learning more via the programs on building your wealth link down below with a coupon code expiring next week take advantage of that before it's gone the price goes up again Ooh, we've got some really cool surprises coming this month for course members anyway so what about if we get a larger hike larger than 75 bp well jp morgan tells us that would probably be bad. <laughs> if we ended up getting something like a 100 basis point hike, the market would not actually see that as being priced in, and potentially we would have to price that in. However, on Monday, and this is the counter argument to that logic, on Monday, we basically priced in a 4% terminal rate. This is very important because the previous terminal rate that we had been pricing in the Fed was right around 2.75 to 3%. On Monday, when the NASDAQ fell almost 5%, and you know, if effectively came down to what negative 33% for the year, it was believed that we had now priced in a substantially higher terminal rate. And so who cares if we get a 100 basis point hike or a 1% hike, who cares? We've already priced in that terminal rate, but then we would have higher rates for another extra six weeks longer. And maybe there'd be a little bit of short term red JPM believes though, that that would fade because the market would realize, eh, we kind of need it. So look, my goal is to go live for the Fed meeting because I want to go through that SEP summary of economic projections. And what do we expect to find in that? Well, we expect the Fed to actually finally be real with us. Tell us that we're on the teetering totter of a recession with GDP forecasts for the end of the year, probably close to 0%. What are the ranges for GDP forecasts? Is anyone negative on GDP forecasts? What about unemployment? How much of an uptick do they think we're going to get? And when's inflation actually going to go down? And if they don't actually give us real numbers that are believable, we're going to think they're lying. And when the Fed loses confidence, that's when they end up having to Paul Volcker us. So we don't want the Fed to lose, you know, even more face. We want them to actually grow a pair and give us their best shot. 